Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be a fourth Maximum Crisis box opening. I just can't resist the drug of basically the cheap thrill of gambling with my money um, for purchasing packs. Um, I mean, hey, it's tax return season, right? So might as well do something with it. Um, but yeah, so we're we're just going to dive straight into this and see what we can get out of, the, out of this box. Because at least we're getting secrets in our boxes. Uh, so that is fine and dandy, and I'm selling all the excess stuff that uh, that I get out of these boxes. Uh, so I'll either be selling them like to people through my Patreon, or I'll be I'll be putting the excess stuff on eBay or whatever. Uh, like there's 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 options afoot. Uh, so I'm not even gonna try and fuck with the order of these packs for this one because I'm going to see if my theory is uh, is even confirmable. Because in the first two boxes I opened, the secret was this pack right here on both sides second from the bottom but then in the third box I opened the last box I opened before this one they were like somewhere halfway in the middle uh, so I'm curious as to see where they are in this one and I also have yet to get a Dragonite Diagram or a Masterpiece I've gotten two Zarks I've gotten a Duelist Alliance and stuff like that see the first pack is an Ultra and that's normally not the way this has been going so I'm curious it's also an Ignis Heat which is also a card I do not need I need Dynamite Knuckles I need your retarded stepbrother. Please give, give more, please, Dynamite Knuckles. <laughs> must, must have, must have Dynamite Knuckles. Please. I can't deal with this if I don't have Dynamite Knuckles. Because that means I'm going to have to acquire those. Uh, but I've gotten a couple of True Draco Heritages. I've gotten a couple of, uh, a couple of Zarks. I've gotten a couple of Ghost Ashes, which are fine, because those are, like, universally good. Um, so yeah, like there's, there's definitely good things that have come out of, uh, out of these boxes, uh, as far as stuff. Um, uh, the problem is, is that I just don't, I would love to like buy as many boxes as I can until I get literally every card, every card that I need for like doing videos. Uh, but the problem is, is that YouTube isn't like paying that well right now. Um, like I'd love to make YouTube like a full-time job, um, and just do everything in my power to bring like card, like stuff to you guys, but... The current issue is that YouTube is being uh, being a bitch with uh, ad revenue, one. And two, I just don't have the following for that. Uh, that could change. What is this? What the fuck is this? Perform pal Gatling Ghoul. A perform pal monster and a level 5 or higher dark monster. Inflict 200 damage for each card on the field. And then if this card was fusioned using a pendulum, control one monster your opponent controls. If you do inflict damage equal to their original attack. What? That's not the ultra I wanted. It's not the ultra I needed either. <laughs> oh, shit. I didn't know that there were, like, more, like, terrible ultras in this set. <laughs> I thought that it was, like... I just thought there was enough true Draco and Spiral cards to make it to where, to where all of those were, like, ultras. And you know what a card that I haven't seen yet? At least I haven't been paying attention. Uh, enough to see it go by in the common stack. Is, uh, is Subterra Final Battle. Is that, like, an ultra? I wouldn't be surprised if that card's an ultra. That card is, like, sick. That card is the best spiral card I have ever read. Um, because it's exactly what I wanted for the deck. Um, was, uh, was a card that said, hey, you get, to, you get to flip your stuff on your opponent's turn. But then it resets itself as a trap. It's a Scrap Iron Scarecrow. Like, that's great. <laughs> that's exactly what the deck needed. Alright, so this is the second card from the bottom. Or second pack from the bottom. So let's see if this is where the secret is. Um, now the Ultras were in a weird order. Yeah, so this is where the secret is. So Duelist Alliance. So we have another copy of that, which is fine. Um, oh, Subterra Final Battles are rare. Okay, I finally just found it. <laughs> Rip. Uh, what, is the, what are all these vanilla pendulums? Um, ghost Beef. Okay. I see you, Ghost Beef. Uh, Kaiser Sea Snake. That sounds like something that would have uh, a less than optimal effect. Subterra Fiendus, these cards. Ariel, Priestess of Necros. Again, that card that's not going to help Necros be any better than they currently are because Brio and Unicor at one and Shred is banned. If Brio and Unicor were both at two or three, then it would uh, it would definitely help the deck a lot more because you wouldn't have to fuck this card. Fuck these spiral cards. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Hatred. Um because then you wouldn't have to worry about uh, you wouldn't have to worry about trying to search these cards, and then your Ariel would just pick up the slack. It wouldn't matter that, as much that you're having to uh, you're having to get rid of all your uh, all your shit uh, with um, with your searching and stuff. 
Because, like, you basically, like, get rid of your Brio and you're like, I have to put this back in my deck or else I don't get to play for the rest of the game. Um, same thing with your Unicor. So, like, gets to be a problem. Gets to be a problem. Okay, so, Dumbass Spiral Gear Fully Armed uh, is in my possession. Uh, Supreme King Gate Infinity, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, Pujin Hiroko. Is that still its name, by the way? Hiroku? Yeah, Hiroko. It's still the exact same name. Interesting. Alrighty then. Um, okay, so let's see. We'll open this if it decides to stop being difficult. Thank you. Um, VFD, which is fine. I'm getting a lot of the BES cards I'm seeing go by. The the MK the the MK3 and the uh, Fields Bell. Uh, so like that's that's pretty cool. Um, so more spiral cards. Spiral sleeper is pretty legit. Like this card's actually just insane, uh, as far as uh, its effect. Like that's actually pretty good. This entire last support of spiral cards uh, was actually like pretty decent. Um, if only it had been the second support wave and not the last one. Hey, we have a playset of heritages. Good shit. All right. Um, okay, so as long yeah, but like I was saying, if this if this spiral wave had been the second wave and not the last. Um, the deck would probably have done a lot better uh, over the course of the evolving metagame uh, because like there was a point where like I could have seen spirals doing something like around the ABC era uh, because of just how like aggressive it can be especially if you own Utopia Kaiser but unfortunately that do those days are long past uh, but so we are really far down really quickly I'm just not giving a fuck about these packs uh, <laughs> that's legitimately how this is going just not giving a single fuck um, so this is Waterfall of Dragon Souls. Uh, we've gotten our two Ultras out of this side. And this should be the secret, so I'm going to open it last. Uh, unless I just get diddled by the Orderer again. But yeah, like the secret was the second from the bottom on the other side. Yeah, see, there's Zephyrath. So, so this card, this one, is the secret. Um, so yeah, we'll mess with that. And it's another ghost ash. Hey, I got a play set of ghost ashes. All right, we can fucks with that. And there's no masterpieces and no diagrams in four boxes, uh, so that's kind of irritating. However, we've gotten a play set of ghost ash, which means whatever deck I can play is gonna have a play set of ghost ash in it. Fuck yeah, I can swing with that. I can swing with that really hard. Uh, and I've got two dual alliances. I only need one more, and then I can start doing my. Uh, some video ideas that I've been uh, do, uh, brewing for like new pendulum variants and stuff like that. So hell yeah. Alright. I can work with this. I can work with this completely. But anyway, as always guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are on this box and these pulls and stuff are in the comments down below. What do you think about Maximum Crisis as a set? Do you think it's just awfully ratioed and all that sort of nonsense or not? Because I mean like I didn't see a masterpiece. I didn't see a Dragonic Diagram. I didn't see a Tornado Dragon. I didn't see... Uh, what other secret did I not see? I don't even know. It's probably one that I don't want to see if uh, if if like I'm I'm not seeing it. <laughs> but anyway, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below as always. But other than that, thanks for watching all that sort of nonsense. Again, let me know what your thoughts are. I've said that so many times in these videos, but I'm actually just curious. But if you want to connect with me, chat with me, or support with me, then just check out the links in the description to my Facebook fan page as well as my Patreon page. If you want to support the channel directly, help some potential future projects that I'm trying to get going be uh, be funded and be doable. Uh, some pipe dreams that I have as far as like maybe live streaming locals, maybe doing uh, some locals uh, like matches and stuff like that. If you're interested in helping support me to get those up and going for the channel's growth in the future, then definitely check out the Patreon page. It also gets you access into my personal private Discord server depending on which reward tier you pick. And also, there's the monthly raffle giveaway that I do at the end of every month. And at the end of this month, I believe I'm going to be just be doing some more product of Maximum Crisis. Um, in the form of like a bunch of special editions or if the special editions aren't out yet because I can't remember what their release date is I'll just do another box of Maximum Crisis uh, to someone uh, but if the special editions are out then I'll be doing like probably a multi giveaway where I give away like three or four special editions to like two different people um, like three or four each to two different people so definitely check that out if you're interested in that sort of nonsense but other than that if you're looking to buy or sell cards while also indirectly supporting the channel then check out second chance gaming's website which is also linked in the description they are a direct sponsor of me and this channel and i'm a big fan of how they do business with what i've dealt with thus far so definitely check out their site and let them know that phoenix sent you but other than that that is it for this video again thanks for watching thanks for your time as usual let me know what your thoughts are on this box and these polls in the comments down below and take care guys i will see you in the next video